as our cars get bigger and parking spaces smaller. Parking safely and legally is harder than ever. Perhaps the answer is already in your pocket. KITV4's Daryl Huff joins us to talk about how people are using their cell phone cameras to deal with parking space conflicts. Daryl? You know, Paula, there are now very few cell phones that don't have cameras, which means you have in your hand the power to record the evidence you might need to defend your car in a parking lot, defend yourself in court, or even publicly shame inconsiderate parkers. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. When another car encroaches in her parking space, Porsche owner Hudson Hot documents it with her Blackberry, evidence in case she gets the ticket. And so, wait, so how does that work? Who's going to get the ticket? Am I going to get the ticket? I would have parked right if the person behind me would have stayed inside their line. She also takes pictures in parking lots when the neighboring vehicle is close enough to threaten the dreaded anonymous ding. They just went and like, oh, sorry, Charlie, and then they leave. They're not leaving you a note saying, hey, I dinged your card. Who does that? You may recognize Hudson's voice. She's a morning host on Star 101.9 Radio, where she encourages cell phone shaming of really piggy parkers on Facebook. So I posted and people were like, yeah, okay, and then we started posting pictures and taking them. So you've got kind of a movement going. Got a movement, I'm trying to, but will it hold up in a court? That's a good question, we'll find that out. We went to traffic court where we were shown photos sent to judges in 13 randomly chosen cases. Court officials say they have no way of tracking whether more drivers are sending in photos to challenge their tickets. They also don't know for sure whether having that photographic evidence makes it more likely a driver will beat the rap. The presentation varied widely from computer graphics to handwritten pleas. Some offered Google Maps, satellite and street views too. The photos did seem to help most of the parking ticket challenges. Five out of seven were dismissed with the help of the pictures, but the pictures didn't seem to help much on moving violation. The photos alone were not enough to overturn a single one. Now that's a very small sample, Paula, not scientific, but clearly having a camera at hand at all times can be helpful. All right, Daryl, but he didn't quite answer that question. If I can't fit in that stall because someone else is in the way, is that a defense against a ticket? Well, I asked the police that question, and they say it is not an excuse. You're supposed to park inside that stall. But they also say in the end, it's up to the judge. Reporting live, Daryl Huff, KITV4 News. All right, thanks, Daryl.